The EU Parliament has agreed on new anti-money anti laundering rules to regulate cryptocurrencies. The rules include a tracking of purchases of virtual currencies such as Bitcoin above a euro in value from online exchanges. And backers of the bill say it will tackle illicit flows and money laundering within the bloc. But over 40 firms wrote a protest letter to the EU saying the proposals violated user privacy and were not feasible. Well, let's get more on this now. I'm joined by Yves Benaim, the chairman of 2B4CH. That's a think tank focusing on the social and financial transformations brought by Bitcoin. Uh, welcome to the program. Um, let me ask you uh, first, is this a crackdown or is this trying to bring Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies into the mainstream? It's a cat and mouse game. Um, the way it is uh, made right now, it's not necessarily very efficient because it really only applies to um, uh, service providers, to service providers uh, transactions. But um, the way people are buying and selling um, cryptocurrencies nowadays, they could be using, let's say, an American firm, or they could be using a firm that is uh, located in um, wherever, in, in a, a tropical paradise. So the, the way it works right now, they're they are setting up the ground rules so that later on in the next 18 months, they can be moving forward a little bit, I think. Now, Eve, um, this uh, does not yet affect peer-to-peer -peer transfers, but do you think that could be down the line, that the EU might start regulating that as well? I think that's what they want, of course. Um, what, what they will be doing is the same as the uh, GDPR or uh, KYC AML. Um, instead of coming directly from uh, the, the authorities to the end users, um, it goes through the service providers, and the service providers are stuck between the hammer and a hard place where they have to enforce some rules because otherwise they will be um, uh, responsible for it. You know, a lot of people were wary for a long time about Bitcoin at the at the beginning, thinking this is all just about money laundering and uh, shady deals. Uh, do you think it's um, that image has changed? It's changing slowly. I think um, the European Union is starting to realize now that um, they they have to set up some clear rules and. Uh, uh, to uh, welcome uh, actors who will be building this ecosystem within Europe instead of, of course, moving to uh, all over the world. So I, I think they are starting to realize that that's why it's a cat and mouse game, because they don't want to be too restrictive. But at the same time, they want to make sure that they are restricted enough that they are not being you know, overwhelmed by uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but mainly Bitcoin because it's decentralized.